I'm going to show you the behavioural illusion, how we get the impression that a response follows a stimulus, when in fact this is an artefact of, of making a change in the environment very quick and sudden. If we make a slow, gradual change to the environment, to a working negative feedback loop, we get a slow change to the output to counteract this disturbance. This keeps the input at the reference value, in this example around zero. You can see this on the graph below. If, however, we provide a very jerky and sudden change to the environment, we get a jerky and sudden output, apparently in response to it. So this is actually exactly the same process. It's just emerging because we've made a very sudden change to the environment as we've drawn it again. And so, arguably, when we conduct experiments when we present what we call stimuli, we are providing sudden changes to the environment which are under the control of a negative feedback control system.